you know the movie Snakes on a Plane, right? Well, this nightmare came true for one lady named Moira Boxall. Yeah, Boxall went to Australia to visit her daughter, but what she didn't know is a two-foot python had crawled into her shoe. The snake survived three flights and a 40-hour trip. The 72-year-old woman was shocked when she opened her bag and discovered that python. Now, experts say the snake probably went into hibernation and began shedding its skin during the oh, flight. Oh, no. No, no, no. Well, you say no, but this guy just wanted to see Australia. He'd always <laughs> said there's a, there's a big snake population in Australia. He'd heard the news. He's got some relatives down there. What? So he, he decided <laughs> to hop on a flight, and there's nothing wrong with that. No, that's a no for me. We turned out a gym from Waco 100. Good morning, snakes on a plane. Did you see that story? I, I did not. Where was this? So a woman boarded her flight to go to Australia. Three flights later, she, she finds out, wait a second, there's been a snake in my shoe the entire time. This snake oh. went all the way from America to Australia, and now here, there it is, happily in Australia. <laughs> oh, wow. Uh, they don't have snakes in Australia, do they? Uh, I think they got a couple. I think they got a couple. Oh. I, th I think they got a couple <laughs> they, scary animals They've got there. one more now, that's for sure. That's yeah. for sure, oh. as if they needed any more. What would you guys do? So, you, so you're, you're, in, you're on a plane. You open your bag. You realize inside your shoe there's a snake that's shedding. What do you do first? Probably scream like a girl. I'm with you. I'd I would, scream like a girl. I would also <laughs> scream like a girl, and I would also I would order an extra cocktail to, to deal with the, uh, the, the aftermath of that. Stress. Yeah. <laughs> hey, do you all realize what today is? Uh, National Pistachio Day. Yes. You know what else it is? <laughs> what is it? It's Bacon Day. What? It is? It you got you got some bacon it, in the studio there? It says right here on my sheet that today is Bacon Day, which I think, and you may agree or disagree, it should be a national holiday. Right. We should have today off just to celebrate how delicious bacon is. I, you know what? You, you didn't have to give me an excuse. I'm going home and frying up some bacon. <laughs> is there not anything that's better with bacon? I can't think of a single food item that's not that's better right. with bacon. And I highly recommend, if you've never tried it, uh, bacon dipped in chocolate. What? Really? Yes. What? How did you come across that combo? I'm just telling you, I've tried it. It's excellent. All I right. feel like that's, you're joking. No, I'm not joking. That's your task. So what do you do? You get, the, you get that melted chocolate? What do you, you just put a Hershey's bar in a bowl and oh, melt it? There's many ways you can do it. I mean, Google it, but I, it's out there. I promise you. Okay. We'll All trust right. you right. on Take that. Take your word for it. I'm going to dip some bacon and some chocolate today. That sounds All like right. a healthy snack. So it's Tuesday. We'll have our pet of the week in the 8 o'clock hour. A chance for you to adopt a shelter pet that's in urgent need. All right. That's pretty good. Yeah, we got our perfect pet segment coming up tomorrow. Mm -hmm. So that's exciting. We're, we're both getting those animals adopted. And speaking of, Absolutely. Speaking of tomorrow, my Leading Ladies series continues. Uh, part four of it, I, I actually sat down with a colonel on Fort Hood who's really making a big difference in breaking down those barriers for women in our military. All right. We'll be watching for that. Have a good one. Hey, All we'll right. see you tomorrow. See you tomorrow.